Hello, Hello everyone. my friend. Tonight is the first time we're eating at a German restaurant. Yes, Ooh. we've never tried German food before, so we're really excited to share this experience with yes. you. Yes, and this was requested by a German fan, so thank you so much for the recommendations. Hey. Danke. Danke. Danke, let's eat. Oh, it's raining. Welcome to Hofboy House, our first time trying a German restaurant in Melbourne. <laughs> We've never had any German food at all, so this will be a really fun experience. The only things I know about Germany itself is you're great at football, Albert Einstein, and Oktoberfest, and that's pretty much it. I'm not bad at a terrible German accent though. This place is amazing. I absolutely love the decor. Like, look at this. This looks beautiful. I'm in Germany already, pretty much, right? Is this what a German restaurant is like in Germany? Or is this, say, uh, over decorated kind of Las Vegas kind of look of Germany? I don't know. This is a new experience for you and I, so please join us for this German episode. Let's get ordering. I'm uber hungry. That sounded Asian and Irish. But how fun is this restaurant? You got German music playing in the yeah, background. Yeah, I love it. The interior is so awesome. What are your first impressions? It's like I'm in kind of like a Mediterranean Viking country <laughs> vibe is what I'm getting as soon as I walk into this restaurant. Right. It does look like a little den where the hobbits would be drinking beers, <laughs> yeah. singing songs. Yeah. How like about Lord there? of the Rings. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right, that's yeah. what you see. Fair enough. You get that European vibe, yeah. right? It's really cool. What do you know about Germany though? Um, I actually don't really know anything about Germany. Mm. I know you, know you have big sausages. Oh, yeah, me? The big, thick sausages <laughs> that you have in Germany. Like the big, massive sausages. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know. At no, Oktoberfest. Our knowledge is minimal when it comes zero. to Germany. Zero. I would say my knowledge is zero. Well, we're actually supposed to go to Germany yes. um, a few years back, but that didn't pull through. However, that would have been really fun. I know the people in Germany are really nice. And also, whenever I pack cutlery, I notice a lot of you are from Germany, which is yes. why I'm really excited to do this episode because I wanted to show you what a German restaurant in Australia was like. So thank you for the support. Yeah. And I hope you like this video. All right, guys, so here's the menu for today. A whole bunch of food that we have no idea how to pronounce. For example, <laughs> this first one over here is called Bavarian Bretzel. Oh, it's a pretzel. It's a pretzel. But unfortunately, they don't have that today. Oh, I really no wanted pretzels. to try it, but oh, they don't no. have that today. Yeah. Let's try to pronounce some of these. These are insane. Like, look at this one here. Summer Schnuff. No, don't. It sounds so cool. If you just uh, put on the German accent, then it sounds pretty legit. Like this one right here. Brustwurst. You just got to give it a bit of that oomph, you know? Okay. Brustwurst. Hi. Tagesschuppi. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. Isn't that minion language? <laughs> that was your beat. That was your beat. I'm really bad with Where was that? So Where did know. you see that? The soup of the day. Oh my god. I know what you know about Germany. Your favorite drink is from Germany. <gasps> Jägermeister! <laughs> it is! Jäger. Oh my god, it is. Erin Jägermeister. It is. Oh, she my absolutely loves that drink. She finishes like 10 to 20 of those a night. Oh, I think we should also ask the waiter what the most popular uh, German dishes are so we yes. can try that out. Easily. Yeah, so That's probably the us. best way. Excuse me, one. <laughs> That's not German at all. Also, this restaurant is located in Chinatown, which was very interesting walking into Chinatown and finding a German restaurant. So if you're looking for it, it's in China. 
we have ordered the yeah. biggest German feast ever, guys. It is so big. It we is huge. We that. actually need your help because we ordered a massive platter. Whatever the waitress recommended us, that's what we ordered. Yes, yes, she was so very kind, helped us out and gave us the best recommendation. And just letting you know, we ordered the amount that would feed five people. All right, yeah. Five regular people yes. or just one Delena. So oh. it's good, we're good. Okay. I feel like we're easy. I don't know, we'll see. Yes. I'm a bit worried, but we'll see how German food sizing is. Okay, so the first thing we ordered is a feast platter. Feast yes, platter. Which feeds two to three people. Yep. It's $110. Oh, so expensive, it's expensive. It does come with a pork knuckle, sausages, pork belly, schnitzel, cabbage, mashed potato, and mustard. So we and get to try a bit of everything. Yeah. What is sauerkraut? Sauerkraut is like a pickle? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something sour? <laughs> <laughs> and also another thing I notice is German cuisine has a lot of pork. Yeah. So it's a I, lot of meat. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of meat, meat, it's a lot of pork. I wasn't left with many options, so I went for the bretzel schnitzel, which bretzel is what schnitzel. she recommended as well. It's wow. bretzel crumbed marinated chicken breast. Oh my, that sounds with pretty good. Bright cut top fin. Yeah, you have to you have to give it some oomph when you say it. You have to be bratte coffin! Bratte coffin! I apologize, German viewers. We do not know I'm what sorry, we're saying. I'm sorry. But it's okay because this restaurant is surprisingly full of Asian people right now. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Asian people love German food. Yeah. <laughs> and for starters, we got a flam kuchin. Flam kuchin? Oh my god, it's like bam kuchin. Sounds like bam kuchin. Yeah. What is a flam kuchin? It's a flatbread sour cream with bacon, onions, and chives. Uh, so it's and it says here, don't call it a pizza. It's like a pizza, but don't call it a pizza. Yeah. You understand? And I saw this and I just had to get it. Is it, it is the pommes fritz. The frit. The fries. The fries. Yes. yes. You guys remember the fritz? Yes. I don't know if you remember when we were trolling back in our travel vlogs back yeah. then, we call it the fritz. I just want to eat this Let's just fritz. eat the fritz. Have you seen how long this fritz is? We call it chips and everyone Instead of fries? Like, it's not chips, you should be calling it fries. So then we were like, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll call, call it fritz. fritz instead. Yeah, because we're silly. <laughs> we and love now, being silly. we found out it's actually a thing. Yeah. It's a fritz. So German people call it fritz. 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 No Z. Ah, oh, fritz. 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 <laughs> I mean, that's how he pronounced it. We'll call it chips. It feels here. like fritz. We'll call it chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll call it fries here then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, we we'll, want we'll chips. <laughs> Whole bunch of food. I don't know how it's going to fill this table. Carb loaded. Protein packed, yeah, I whole do bunch carbs. of a delicious Japanese food. Why did I say Japanese? It's Japanese food. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> German beer is very small. <laughs> you ordered the small size. I got the smallest. I don't drink beer. My first time trying German beer. 300 mils. That's tiny. <sighs> I'm drunk. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I don't drink that much beer, so it's hard to review, but it's tasty and I'm going to get tipsy. Babe, would you like to try some German beer? Ooh, yes. Give it a go. Ooh, it's not VB, it is HB. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're Vietnamese, you'll know. Vietnamese people love drinking VB. So here's HB. HB. Cheers. I never drink beer. Cheers! That's, that's good beer. Danke. That's good beer. It's actually not bad for someone who doesn't like to drink beer. Have more then. Have another sip then. If it's not bad. Have Cheers. another. Have another sip. What? What are you doing? More for you. You got a small size, so more for you. Oh, okay. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah, the I food's here. For a second. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Here we have not a pizza. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Flammkuchen. 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 Sour cream, bacon, onion, and chives. And Beautiful. on this side, we have a pretzel schnitzel with pan fried potatoes, bacon, onion, and the pork shoe. Thank you. Thank you so Enjoy. much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. That is so crazy. Look how big this is. Man, so this is your schnitzel? Mm -hmm. yes. The pretzel schnitzel. Yes. You got potatoes, you got a little 
I'm not sure what that is in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> and a huge ass schnitzel. This is so big. That's crazy. This and it comes so with a big. sauce as well. What's this, yeah. like a gravy? It's a pork jus. A pork jus. Yeah. And this, amazing. Shall we try this first? Yeah, this looks, looks delicious. Oh my gosh. So excited. Our first time eating any German food. And we're starting off with the flatbread, aka not a pizza. Look at the slices. Oh wow, it comes in four pieces. Oh. Look at that. Very thin base, no crust, minimal crust. Let's zoom in. I'm sorry. What is it? Something like Something. that. Something. We'll, we'll put it. Uh, I'll do a voiceover. Ready? Lass uns essen. <laughs> All right, let's go. Mm, thin, delicate, full of flavor. It's very delicious and it's creamy. First German food, and I am very impressed. This is a really good entree. Very delicious. Very crunchy. I like it a lot, Germany. Mmm. Trying out the Flammkuchen. Flammkuchen. Sorry, German friends, but I just have to take the bacon off. Let's try it. Cheers. Give it a go. Mm. <laughs> it's good, right? Mmm, yum. The caramelized onions are so delicious. Oh, right. And I just love how the flatbread is so soft and crunchy at the same time. Mm. And just the combination of flavors. So delicious. Oh my god. It's so easy to eat. Yum, I love this. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. Next up, we have the schnitzel. Thank you. Ah. Danke. Danke. If you're going to Germany, you have to try out their schnitzel. And this schnitzel did not disappoint because it's the size of a small island. Whoa. It's That's big. crazy. It's big. That's a big boy. Germany likes big things. <laughs> oh, so easy to cut through. Ooh. Wow, it just falls apart. That looked juicy. So it's a bretzel crumbed chicken breast. Delicious, soft white chicken meat. Mm. It's good. Wow. Oh, yum. No. The marinated chicken. Marinated. You don't even need sauce with that. The crumb is so crispy and delicious, and the chicken is cooked so well. It's not dry at all. It's juicy, and when you bite into it, you can taste the juice of the marinated chicken. Yum. That's delicious. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's not that thick. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Never again will I eat a pretzel. Always a pretzel. Very nice chicken. Very tasty. I mean, if I had that schnitzel after every gym workout, I'll be forever happy. Delicious. All right, time to try the sides as well. Some potato? Yes, fried potatoes. I love fried potatoes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. What? Mmm. They still have the potato skin on it as well. Gives that nice texture. I like you, Germany. Germany. I like you a lot. Germany, wow, we're impressed. Even your potatoes are absolutely oh, yeah. delicious. So delicious. It's just so much flavor, but not overpowering. It's not salty or anything. It's just really delicious. Exactly. And the texture as well. I'm surprised because wow, Germans really love their beer. So I assume most of their food would be extra salty so they could down more of this delicious beer. Yeah. But it's not. It's not. The food is more sweet. This, however, is a really good entree. Mm. It's very thin, packed with delicious ingredients too, and very simple to eat. Am I allowed to do this or is this I just pretty much rolled it up. Eat it like that. Mmm. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. So when she brought out these plates, she said these were starters. So I don't know if they're gonna bring out the other plates at the same time, but I think we might have to finish this and then they'll bring out our feast platter and our fritz. Yeah. Yeah. Last in sense. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Guten Tag! Still waiting for my big platter, so I'm hungry. Guten! Guys, I've had that much beer and I'm this red now. 
Bloody hell. That's a good beer. My dad would love that. But yeah, I think the big platter's here. Oh, yes. It's finally here. Alrighty, guys. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> no. So we have our yes. pork knuckle, pork belly, chicken schnitzel, sausages, slices of uh, pork loin pasta, all the sides underneath. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. Well, have you seen my entree? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. They've got a knife stabbed into this pork knuckle oh the size of an elephant's God. brain. Oh my god. You got sauerkraut under? That's sauerkraut. Oh. Yeah. This, the schnitzel, it's just as big as yours. Oh, yeah. Why do we get this yeah. one? Why do we... But this one is the pretzel crumb. Look at that. That one's just like normal That's schnitzel. That's a basic schnitzel. Yeah. It comes with a sausage as well. And over here is... The pork, pork belly. Pork belly. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's that pork crackling. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, okay. I actually don't know if you can finish this because it is a lot bigger than I What do you mean, just me? You must help me now. <laughs> this is insane. This is the craziest meal I've ever seen. Look at the size of my knuckle next to this one. That is just incredible. Whenever you think of German food, it's always the sausage. And now this sausage comes with a bit of pickle on top, some garnish. Now we're going, oh, look at this. Oh, it's so big. I'm going to cut into it. Oh, wow, that snap. That's incredible. A nice sausage, very dense, very meaty. A nice snap when I cut into it. Very excited. German sausages, let's go. Mm. A very juicy sausage, very delicious. Pretty nice, you know? If it was in some bread, it would be even better. Mm. I'm gonna have a little mash with that. Oh! Good, very good. There's another sausage next to it. More clear. Let me cut into this one. And this one is another sausage. I'm not sure. There's definitely no cheese or anything inside it though. More peppery, more seasoning. Decent. I think it's time to try the pork knuckle. Now, ready? I'm gonna have to pull this knife out, kind of like oh. it's the Excalibur sword. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Am I worthy? Yes. Very crispy on the outside and full of fat. Now, let's cut into that. Oh, you hear that? Guys, look at this. Insane. Holy Whoa, moly. A lot going on there. Look at that steam, that pink meat. That's incredible. All those juices, all those fat. Oh, very fatty, meaty, juicy as well. Kind of reminds me of the pork knuckle we got from the Filipino restaurant, but not as good. But it's still very tasty and it's full of meat. I'm gonna try some of that skin with a whole bunch of fat. Now this is a heart attack. Crispy! Insane. Oh my God. It's so heavy. It's so full of fat. Does it help if you drink a beer? Oh yeah. Oh, that's better. Really compliments it because that's just super greasy. Oh man, it's heavy. That's very heavy. Not bad though. Next up, we're gonna try this pork crackle. Can you see it? And on top, some more deep fried goodies. Now, I'm no stranger when it comes to crispy pork. It's a hell way in Vietnamese. Oh, yeah. That's better than the uh, the pork knuckle. Ooh. It's really nice. Mm. It's like half fat up here, crackling on top, and at the bottom some pork meat. It's really juicy. Ooh. Very good. Oh man, heavy. <laughs> it's very heavy. Did you just gain like five kilos after that bite? Oh man, yeah. It's not even impossible to finish this. There's just so much going on. All right, let's try the schnitzel then. Let's grab some lemon and put 
it on top of that schnitzel. Yeah. I'm just gonna eat it on its own. I'm assuming it just tastes like yours, but. Well, just a different crumb. Still very juicy and delicious schnitzel. I feel like this platter is like a German food challenge or something. Like it needs to be. If you can finish all this, you get the meal for free. $110, totally understand why it is a bit pricey. You get a whole bunch of meat and you have to share this with two to three people. It is impossible to finish it on your own. It just, it's too much. It's just that the pork is just so heavy and the crackle so fatty as well and all the other meats. However, the sausage is definitely a highlight. I really like it. Beautiful snap to it. I can't finish it. I think I'm gonna have to tap out. I'm gonna try one of these fruits. There you go, it's a chip. A good German chip. Okay, I'm done, bye bye. No, I can't do it. So I can't really help you much, but yeah. I will try out the sauerkraut because I want to know what that is. I feel defeated. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I went into a German battle and I lost. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. It's like pickled. Yeah, it's pickles. Yeah. I don't like pickles. And it's sour. Got some mesh. Not bad. I'm just thinking that mash is so heavy. And you're eating the mash with all the pork and the meat. <laughs> you're gonna be so round after this episode. Jesus, help me, please. You got this, girl. I believe in you. Yeah? Similar. Uh, the crumb is nowhere as good as the pretzel, pretzel one. You like yeah. the pretzel more? Yeah. That's all I can eat. <laughs> You want to try that? What? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. This. That. No! Yeah. <laughs> Definitely no, no, no. Alright. This is a good representation of every meal that I have with Delena. That's how much food she will usually get and that's, that's kind of like mine. That's... <laughs> like if you think about it, I mean, if you were one of the viewers and you saw us in real life and you saw this table, You'd be like, yeah, that, that seems about right. Yeah, if it wasn't pork, I'd eat it all. <laughs> German fans, please let us know yes. if this is traditional German food or anything close to that, you know? Is this the food that you would have back at home in Germany? Or is that insane? Is this what you eat for dinner every day? <laughs> <laughs> it is Zeit für den Nachschiss. It is time for dessert. That's the translation. Yes, we got ourselves a black forest. Yes. Good job. You know me. I love black forest. And fun fact, which I just found out today, black forest cakes originated from Germany. That's amazing. That's crazy. Yes. So we have here the black forest roll, especially made in-house. In-house, icing on top, your whipped cream, and Chocolate also a liqueur. and the sour cherries. And how do you say it's time for dessert again? It's, it's, it's size for the ashes. <laughs> Are you casting a spell? So Black Forest is Delena's favorite dessert. Let's try the one that is originated from Germany itself. Oh, it's different. Yes. It's like a sponge scroll. Yeah, this is a sponge roll. I usually eat black forest cakes. Cheers! Oh. oh, she loves it. She's coming back here. Guys, oh, no. I already know she's coming back to this restaurant. It's so obvious. Hey, I already know. I need to go to Germany and eat black forest cakes. A whole episode on black forest cakes in Germany. Because a lot of places don't do black forest cakes or sponge cakes very well, especially the cherries. But the cherries here, Wow. Perfect. The cherry on top. So I'll try perfect. some for German science. So perfect. Let's go. I'll try a little bit. Yum! Yum, yum, yum! I love everything about this. Oh man. Quite chocolatey. More on the dark side. Uh, the sponge is not as soft, but still delicious. Yeah. The cream is probably my favorite thing. It's not bad. I love the cherries here. Just a combination of the cherries, the cream, sponge. Delicious. Good it's stuff. a delicious dessert. I like it. Well, there you go, guys. HB, we like it a lot. 
And that was Hofboy House, our first time at a German restaurant and I was surprised. It was really good. I really enjoyed the food. The platter was insane, however, if I came back, I would order food individually. I'd probably get, you know, the schnitzel, some sides, and try out a few of the other items. But overall, I had a good time, babe. Yes, mm. I had an amazing time. I loved everything. <laughs> everything was delicious. Service was amazing. Yep. The vibe was just really good as well. I had a really good first time experience eating German food. Fantastic. So, thank you, German friends. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Yay. take care. We love you. Love you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.